Time to enjoy normal distributions. Example 2.5. All right, same thing. We're looking for a z-score here. Watch these in sequence, guys, because I build off of what we've discussed on previous ones, all right? So anyway, we have a bell curve with zero in the middle. We've got our general picture over here, which might come into play. This talks about a lower tail. All right, so on the lower half of the curve, lower tail. All right, so the area they described in the question is right here. This is the shaded area that they described. That's a picture of a lower tail. What's the z-score that generates a certain lower tail? 12.35%. Now remember, for the purposes of our table, a couple of things. We've got to convert things into decimal. So that's 0.1235, lower tail. We go to the table and we go, hey, table, i got a lower tail for you. Table says, table want middle sliver. Table always want middle sliver. There's a lower tail table out there somewhere, I'm sure. This is not it, all right? Again, my, my philosophy is let's not learn a bunch of different tables. Let's just learn one table inside and out, and then we can go from there. Plus it saves paper instead of printing off five different tables for all these different situations. You know me, the tree killer, but I'm trying to help. All right, so the table wants this particular thing, this middle sliver here. So much like the one we just did a few minutes ago, I'm hopeful you would go, well, I know that since the bell curve is symmetrical, that this area from here to forever is 0.5, right? That picture over there. So if we want to figure out that middle sliver, wouldn't that be the entire lower half of the bell curve minus that lower tail? That would leave the middle sliver. That'll make the table happy, all right? So, and just remember, once we figure out what this middle sliver is, then we're gonna be able to go to the table. All right, what is that, 0. 0.3765? I hope that's right. I think so. It's embarrassing if it's not. Uh, so 0. 0.3765 is middle sliver. Hey, table, I got a middle sliver for you. Does that make the table happy? Yes. Are you guys gonna join me? If you join me, I'll quit doing this. So I'm gonna be listening very carefully to see if you're joining me. <laughs> table time. I don't know if I heard you or not. You might have to try it a little bit louder next time. Anyway, middle sliver, 0.3765. And if we look through here, all right, now here's a deal that we haven't seen yet. If you look through the body of this table, by the way, the numbers get progressively larger if you read it like a book, all right, because as the z-scores get larger, the areas get larger right along with it. But you'll notice here that our number, our middle sliver of 3765, isn't in the body of the table, all right? I'm noticing that the numbers that surround it are 0.3749, that's in the body of the table, and then 0.3770. It's not in the body of the table, and you were probably wondering that earlier. Okay, look, I'm trying to keep this simple. There's a technique called interpolation. We could spend a bunch of time on it. It's probably, I probably should, but personally, and I'm not the only one in the world that will tell you this, if it's in the middle of two uh, entries in the table, just go to the one it's closer to, all right? So basically, if you remove the decimals, we're, we're comparing 3749, 3765, 3770, and I hope you would agree it's closer to the 3770. So we're gonna go to that one and look up the z-score that it lines up with. So 3770 is right here. Look at the one I gave you, and that lines up with 1.1, Six. 1.16. Now, look, it would be a shame if you did all that work and then Mr. Saxophone would have to count it wrong. And I would. I'm afraid I'd have to. I don't want to. But this, as we reason out, is on the lower side. So it's below zero. Negative. Make sure to put that negative there. Z scores can be either negative or positive depending on what side of the bell curve they're on. Make sure on a question like that you would put the negative. All right, we will move onward.